Okay, so a little, little update for you. Um, I got some moss this morning, I completely forgot. I should have put it in the last update, but I forgot to put it in. Uh, from left to right, we've got erect moss, peacock moss, that one's weeping moss, that one is spiky moss, and my favourite one is on a little rock here, that is Christmas moss. Now, it's all just been in the tank about five minutes. Um, it's been cultivated dry as well on, on tissue and things, so it's the first time submerged, which is meant to make it grow a lot quicker and a lot faster, because it's his first time in the water. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But that's what I was told. I have to get the logs that I'm going to tie it all to and the tree stumps and what have you aren't cured yet so they're not floating. Uh, they're not sinking, they're still floating. So for now I've just tied them to there, dotted them around, written on a piece of paper what's what and they can just live there for a little while. Uh, it's starting to look quite cool in there actually. I just don't want to put too much in but like I say they'll all be, eventually that corner there is coming out. The tree looking things are going to go up in that corner the moss is going to wrap over them those plants are going to move over there making a big clear gap and I'll put some more sand in um, but yeah that's that's about it really the old um, nucrobensis are, are settled they've been in about 3 or 4 hours now and yeah everything's everything's rosy, I've got a few little bits of plant to replant again I don't know why but on the camera it makes them bubbles look horrendous but when you're actually looking at the tank I suppose it's because I'm close up as well. Look, you can't really notice. Now, I really like the tank all the way up to there, as I say on every video. <laughs> Once that corner's done, I feel a bit better, but I might order a couple more of those plants. I really like them. might put another couple more, just tuck them in along here, like smaller ones, or go for something different. But, yep, just wanted to update on the moss. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave a comment. It's always good to hear from other people that like the same hobby, want to do the same things, or any hints or tips where I've gone wrong. If you've noticed anything, please tell me. I am not offended. In fact, I, I, I like it, people to tell me if I've done something wrong or you know maybe it's a different way of trying something um, in my tank. It's always good to know. You can always learn. That's part of the part of the joy of fish keeping is you can always learn something. You never never know everything. There's always something comes along, something new or whatever. But yeah, that's it for now. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Thanks a lot.